Hey folks and welcome back to another product review. It has been quite a long time since my last review and that's mainly because I haven't actually bought anything new. Except my PC of course, and you can see that video at the end. In today's review we'll be checking out this cool blue snowball ice microphone that I recently purchased to replace my old Chinese unbranded mic which has been a loyal servant and you can see the review of this microphone at the end of this video. Let's get a closer look at the Blue Snowball Ice Microphone and let's talk about some specs and features. So, first impressions out of the box, it comes with a nice little stand which feels strong and looks elegant and simple which is okay. The microphone is shaped like a ball which I think looks really cool. The mic is a little heavy but feels like really good quality material with no plastic and cheap feeling parts which is always an extra bonus. The mic comes with a 2 meter USB cable and refreshingly the Snowball Ice doesn't require any software at all, not even a driver. In that sense, setup really is as simple as hooking up a free USB port. The Blue Snowball Ice is the fastest, easiest way to get high quality sound for recording and streaming. Powered by a custom cordioid condenser capsule, the Snowball Ice delivers crystal clear audio quality that's light years ahead of your built-in computer microphone. It's even Skype and Discord certified, which guarantees great sounding results no matter how or where you use it either at home or in the office. And with its cordioid polo pattern, it's one of the most versatile USB microphones around. A good computer microphone is the key to quality results. So start your next project equipped with the ease and versatility that only a snowball can provide. Add CD quality audio to recordings for YouTube, SoundCloud and more. Improve audio quality on Skype, Twitch, FaceTime or any other voice software. Create podcasts and add narration to home movies. You can even record instruments, vocals and entire bands with stunning quality. Technical specifications. Transducer type. Condenser, pressure gradient with USB digital output. Polar patterns, cordioid, frequency response, 40 to 18 kilohertz. Sample word rate, 44.1 kilohertz, 16 bit. Weight, 460 grams. Dimension, 325 millimeters circumference. Now let's get into some positioning options. While the Snowball comes with its own stand, using this for gaming isn't ideal. For example, when positioned close to your keyboard, the mic will pick up keys while gaming, especially if you're heavy handed. This can be tackled using noise gates on, for example, OBS Studios or Discord. Both have these options available. Having your mic far away from your mouth will mean you need to speak louder for your voice to be clearly picked up and if you use your computer in a noisier environment like your living room, it is a lot more likely that the background noise will be picked up and creating an unpleasant listening experience to whomever is listening on the other side. What I do recommend is getting a boom arm. This way you can adjust the mic position with relative ease and with the boom arm you can have the mic up close to your mouth which means you don't have to talk as loudly and with a noise gate setup you can talk and listen without any background noise interference. Noise gates are a fantastic way to improve the sound quality of your microphone. What they do is simple. It has a certain setting that it will pick up the sound at a certain decibel level and then anything below that the microphone will not pick up. So for example if you're using your microphone or computer in a noisy environment like my living room you notice I have to be reasonably close for the mic to pick me up, but then once I start to move away, the mic will stop picking up my Now when I move back a little closer, it starts to pick up my voice again. That means we can have the TV blurring in the background and it won't pick it up. And let's show an example of that next here. So now I have the TV blurring in the background and when I don't speak, uh, you cannot hear it. And you can probably hear it while I speak because once the mic starts to pick up my voice it will obviously pick up anything else in the room at that time if it's loud enough. But as you can see, uh, while I'm not talking, nobody's getting some terrible bleed through of my TV going in the background. The mic is also prone to popping plosives. So with no pop field included, 
you'll need to aim your voice slightly above the mic, in fact. As has been discovered by several YouTubers who use the mic, placing the snowball ice at a jaunty 45 degree angle to your mouth and talking just above it from about 6 or 8 inches away provides the best results. That's all there really is to the snowball ice. A USB connection and a red indicator light at the front. In the absence of any other polar patterns to switch between or a mute button, all you need to worry about is placing it. Blue Snowball Ice is a really affordable little soldier of a USB mic. You can knock it around and it won't show damage. You can stuff it into bags time and time again and it'll still be fit for purpose. Thank you all for watching folks and remember stay safe, take care and I'll see you all in the next one.